Good morning. This is the daily um, All Signs reading for 8321. 8321 daily reading for All Signs. So 8321 daily reading for All Signs. Oh. All right. Eight of Wands, Ace of Cups. So some kind of communication coming in or travel to a new relationship here yes new passionate energy high priestess tower why is the tower here <clears throat> So I don't feel like this person is new. I feel like this person is someone from the past um, who you haven't been speaking with. The tower here is somebody here has been rejecting their feelings and rejecting. <laughs> Excuse me. Rejecting this person, right? I feel like they've been thinking a lot about this person, but they're still guarded. They're guarding themselves. Yeah. Ace of Swords. Thinking a lot about this person. They want to be with this person here long term. But there is a third party. Wow. We have... Are all the Aces out here? No. We have three Aces. We have Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. This is a very big connection. So who is this person coming towards this other person? Who is this person <clears throat> coming towards? Wow. Who? Wow. The devil? Oh, my God. I'm going to take some coffee on that note. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. This person is very manipulative. So this is devil energy. This person is encompassing this energy. So... What that tells me is that this person <clears throat> has narcissistic tendency. This person is a liar, a manipulator who is coming towards this other person. So who are they coming towards? Who's the devil here coming towards? Someone who is angry. They're coming towards a divine masculine. Wow. They're coming towards a divine masculine, and this divine masculine is angry. Any other clarity about who this devil is? Who is the devil? Fire sign. So Sagittarius. Um, this is a fire sign who is upset, depressed. If they're not an actual fire sign, you could, they could have fire in their chart or they could just be encompassing a fire sign. They're encompassing the devil. You know, that was a joke. But. Oh, Lord. What does this person want with this divine masculine? What does this person want with this divine masculine? Wow. <sighs> wants to make an offer. Wants to make an offer. But this person is manipulative. Yeah, they want to win this person. They want to win this person. It's taking them a lot of strength. They're trying to have a lot of strength over this situation. They're confused. Why is Seven of Cups here? Why are they confused? Maybe confused on how to, yeah, how to approach this person. Hermit to a cups. Because they want to be with this person. So I feel like that person walked away from them. Okay. This person walked away from them. Oh, my decals are coming off. So this person walked away from them. I have this on the bottom. Eight of cups. Ooh, could have been an air sign here. <clears throat> I 
Okay, so what is the advice here for for the Divine Masculine? What is the advice for the Divine Masculine here? What, ooh, what is the advice for the Divine Masculine? What is the advice for the Divine Masculine? What is the advice? Tower. Why is the tower here? They, they're telling you to go after what you want. Okay. Um, they're telling you that what you're going after is a balanced connection here. You could be, they want you to do more research, but they want you to do more research about this connection. Why? Why? Because you're stuck. Okay. There's something you need to work on that is going to get you unstuck here. Why is King of Swords here? Air sign energy. Why is King of Swords here? There's this. You could be an air sign here. You have there's some kind of loss and disappointment that you're trying to work on here. What is this loss and disappointment about? You either work too much drink too much you do something too much it may be working too much you may be working too much yeah they want you to stop working so much because you're working too much and you're blinded by this connection wow something about a connection here wow what the hell Oh, whoa. Okay, so <sighs> you could be attached to somebody who is a Pisces, who is a narcissistic person. They're toxic. This is Pisces. This is narcissistic. Toxic person here. The universe is trying to move you away from this person, okay? Um, they're trying to wake you up. You could be going through a spiritual awakening right now. You're going through a massive transformation, divine masculine energy. Okay. And this person is trying to blind you, trying to keep you in this energy. This person could actually be trying to tell you to work, keep working, working more. They may like you working a lot. Yeah, I feel like that's it. Does this Pisces like this person to work a lot? Okay, King of Cups is a yes. I feel like they think that you want to reconcile with someone and they're pissed off. This person is very healing for you. Um, yeah, what's hidden. So this person is like trying to keep you hidden to your destiny, trying to keep you blinded to your destiny. Wow. So this person that you're trying to go towards or that this other energy here is scared that you're going to try to reconcile with is very healing for you. This is a perfect match here. We have the king and Queen of Cups. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So this was starting off as, I still don't have the Empress. So to me, the Empress, the Divine Feminine really isn't playing a role in this right now. This is something that the Divine Masculine is going through. Divine Feminine is doing her thing because Divine Feminine hasn't come up at all in this reading. So I feel like Divine Masculine is the one um, I'm connecting with right now. So let's go ahead and get some messages for Divine Masculine. Very interesting because I was expecting to see Divine Feminine at one point. I feel like this Divine Masculine is working, having issues with a karmic. And this karmic is very toxic. Um, very crazy. So let's see. What are the messages for Divine Masculine? Messages 
messages for Divine Masculine. Messages for Divine Masculine. Messages for Divine Masculine. You are healing DNA and clearing ancestral karma in your family line. I am being sincere. Trust in divine timing. So your divine feminine is being sincere. Trust in divine timing. Spiritual contracts are attracting your soul family. I feel frustrated and stressed out. Mm. That could be your divine feminine here. So let's see what divine feminine wants to tell you here. What does Divine Feminine want to tell you? What does Divine Feminine want to tell you right now? What does Divine Feminine want to tell you? Divine Feminine. I hid who I really am from you. I hide behind material things. Well, wow. just being near you is intoxicating. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. You and I were too young. Okay, and I'm also going to get, ooh, I'm also going to get some messages from this deck because I haven't used that one in a while, as well as this one because i really like this one let me take this other card off though Oof. oh no where is that card oh there it is that one all right all right so let's see i'm gonna move this over here let me Run these through the sage <laughs> to get a wash. All right. What messages for Divine Masculine? Messages for Divine Masculine. Messages for Divine Masculine. Yep, I knew it. And that too. Wow. Okay. For Divine Masculine. So this is a very pivotal part for Divine Masculine right now. A very pivotal time because Divine Feminine is not even coming up in your energy. So I feel like you are really doing a lot of healing, which is a good job. Okay. Soul's desire to resolve limiting patterns of control and dependency. Many challenges, but can bring benevolent long-term rewards. So you need to really look at your patterns of control and dependency. Okay. Karmic contracts, family and finances and other material concerns or responsibilities are causes of interference and stress. This is what is causing this stalemate. You have karmic contracts, family contracts, material concerns that are causing a stalemate in your twin flame relationship. You need to take decisive action. Divine Feminine was not in this reading. So this is you. That's your message. Letting go, change, time to move forward. Risks and opportunities. So any information, if this Divine Masculine does not move forward, any clarity about what will happen if this Divine Masculine does not move forward? I'm being called to ask this, so... What will happen if this Divine Masculine does not move forward? Awaken your heart center and let love in. That's what they want you to do. Purely physical, sexual attraction. Whew. You will continue to have only physical, sexual relationships. Your heart chakra will continue to be blocked I feel like is what they're saying you will continue to oh we attract soulmates based on the lessons we need for growth is this hindering or supporting you they want you to reflect if you don't move forward if you stay with your karmic partner is this hindering or supporting you oh 
reconciliation is going to happen regardless. So they're going to blow you up, basically, is what the universe is saying. They are going to blow you up. All right, what's going on in the Divine Masculine's life right now? What is going on in Divine Masculine's life right now? What is going on in Divine Masculine's life? Getting messages in their dreams. There's some kind of renewal spark, yes, because we saw that this person is going through a massive transformation with the death and rebirth card and an awakening, judgment. So you're awakening to things. Separation, longing. This person is longing for an earth sign. Vanity and pride is you are still living in your ego. And you are at a crossroads. So this is where you're at right now. You're at a crossroads. So what is the advice here for these decisions at the crossroads for this divine masculine? What is the advice for this divine masculine? Reunion. Soul ties. Take action towards this reunion. The universe is trying to give you this. This is your, this is a gift. This reunion is a gift that the universe is trying to give you. And I don't think you're seeing it. You're limited by your fears. You could be married, which yes, I feel like you are. You're suffering from your past because of your contracts, career and commitments. You have been at a distance from this person. But this person is going to bring in harmony and give you a breakthrough. All right, one last card for one last card for this divine masculine for guidance. Really, that's what we're going to end on. Oh, Lord, I can't just leave that like that. Deception, temptation. What was on the bottom was control tactics, offer, remember your awakening, wish fulfillment. These seeds were planted in the spring. Be open to receiving. Oh, Lord. Okay. What they're saying is that I feel like the person you're attached to is trying to control you. They're deceiving you. By trying to control you. The universe is trying to make an offer to you. They're wanting you to remember your awakening. Remember your awakening. Remember what you felt. They're trying to offer. Venus is trying to offer you something here. This is obviously a love. This is your twin. This is your wish fulfillment. I feel like you met this person in the spring. They want you to be open. They want you to be open to receiving this offer. They're trying to hand it to you, pass it to you, but there's confused confusion and you are detached from the truth. You need to be working on forgiveness. You can form a solid structure with this person. You may need to apologize. You're clinging to your comfort zone right now. This person who's deceiving and controlling you is your comfort zone. And they are the actual third party. That tea is hot today. The tea is hot today. They, why are they the actual third party? Why are they coming in as the actual third party? Ooh.
because they're watching you like an outsider, watching you reflect. Your higher self is very similar to that of your twins. You're doing the same thing that your twin is doing, and this person is watching the both of you. So I feel like this karmic is stalking you, the both of you. That's really creepy. Yeah. This is causing disharmony. Because I feel like this person knows that your divine feminine is your purpose here. And that she's witnessing you completing um, cycles here. Could be he or she. And this person is feeling f rejected. Wow. They know that you were very nurturing and compassionate to your twin. You, They know that you think about your twin a lot. How do they know this? How do they know this? Oof. Because they know that the chemistry and passion is still there. You have chemistry and passion with your twin. You don't with this person, with this karmic. There's no passion there. Oh, Lord. Okay, I'm ending with that. If you have any other questions, my information is in the description box. Okay, if not, I will see you in the morning.